Susan. Today I am doing a family favorite. It's one that always gets asked for for special occasions and things like that and it's a dirt cake. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and without further ado let's get started. You'll want 20 ounces of Oreo cookies and you want to crush the cookies until fine. I use my food processor but you can also use a Ziploc bag and a, cl and a a clothespin and a rolling pin. You'll need two of the small packages of instant pudding chocolate, three and a half cups of whole milk, 16 ounces of whipped topping, eight ounces of cream cheese, one stick of butter softened, and one cup of powdered sugar. To begin with, you want to pour your milk into a bowl and mix in your chocolate pudding and just stir it until it's smooth. I just continue to stir this until it's well mixed. I eventually get out a whisk because it just goes a lot easier with a whisk. And this recipe has been a favorite in our family. I've had this for over 20 years. And it's been a recipe that my sons have asked for many times at special occasions. In fact, I'm making it this time for Easter. Now you just want to fold in your whipped topping and get that all incorporated. Now in another bowl, you want to cream together your cream cheese, your butter, which both should be softened to room temperature, and your powdered sugar. And just cream it together with a electric mixer until it's smooth. I wanna get all of that goodness there. So I'm cleaning that wrapper. Now you'll want to stir this into your pudding mixture and just keep folding it and stirring it until everything's incorporated well. Now you'll just want to layer this into your bowl. Just do a thin layer and then a layer of your Oreo cookie crumbs. Now traditionally this is to be done in a clean flower pot lined with foil. And I used to do this and put gummy worms in it for my nephew when he was little. It was a lot of fun. But I'll, usually now I just do it in a big trifle dish and I love to see the layers in the dish so you just keep layering this up until an end with your cookie crumbs Thank you. 
and here it is. Isn't it pretty? And all you'll do is just cover the top of it with some foil or saran wrap and put it in your refrigerator and let it chill. This is so good and it's always a hit. It didn't last any time in my family. They love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I hope y'all had a wonderful Easter. We sure did. So until next time. Bye, y'all.